also have to recognize that we have a society, the economic injustices in this society are immense. If people want to understand what happened in the Muslim world recently, you have to understand the collapse of the economic system in this country. When all of the real estate collapsed, where did the money go? It went into commodities. What happened in the Muslim countries? All of the food stocks went up. People, suddenly people who, they were paying 25% of their salary to food, were now paying 45 to 50% and they didn't have money to pay their rent. They didn't have money for other things. It created an immense amount of strain on these societies. And so people were becoming so frustrated. If we remember how it all started, it started over an economic crisis in Tunis. Do people remember that? It started over a man who was trying to earn a livelihood by selling things. This is a crisis. We have an economic crisis. Nobody talks about the Greek meltdown. We have all these people attacking Turkey, but the reality of Turkey, the reality of Turkey is Turkey has only recently paid off completely their IMF debt. Turkey is one of the only debt-free countries on this planet. And why isn't that in the news? Why is Erdogan being demonized as a tyrant when he has shown incredible fiscal responsibility for his country with immense growth? And now we're going to see constraints put on Turkey. You will see from outside. And Turkey is going to get hit economically. You'll see this in the future. Why? Because there are entities on this planet that do not want to see a successful Muslim model. And Turkey is an extraordinary country with a great people. They have proven that Muslims and seculars can live side by side. They have proven this. We had today, you see people say, oh, the Palestinians and Jews, they could never live together. They lived together for over a thousand years. It's a lie. I was walking with my friends today and I saw Rabbi Weiss who, from, who came from New York. He had his little Palestinian scarf. He had the enormous hat, which I don't know what they call them. But when I saw him, I felt happy. And I looked at them and I said, oh, look, here's this, this, palace, this uh, Jewish man from New York who is against the oppression, the Israeli aggression against the Palestinian people. And he gave me a hug and I hugged him and then we parted and then he came back just to say, please mention that there are Jews against what's happening in Palestine. Tell me.